Hello boys and girls, welcome to English class. Today we'll be learning about singular and plural. And I'm very sure you are familiar with singular and plural. But the last time we uh, learned about singular and plural, we learned about adding S. Today we'll be learning about adding ES. Remember that the last one we did we said when you see like regular a, a regular noun like boy regular noun like boy okay you add if you want to change it to plural plural means more than one then you just add your s boy will turn to boys if you are talking about more than one boy okay or you, when you are talking about cop one cup then two cups so this is these are regular nouns so there are some nouns that you have to add es that's all we're going to be learning today so we're going to be adding es so before we talk about the rules guiding the nouns that you have to add es let's remind ourselves what a noun is a noun is a name of any person 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 can be tolu any person animal cat place can be lagos or thing thing can be a pen okay so a noun is the name of any person, animal, place, or thing. So let's move on. What are the rules? When a noun, that means when a, a thing, a place, a thing, a place, an, an animal, or a person, a person's name, ends with ch. Remember your diagram, ch. CH when it ends with ch. CH when it ends with sh. SH when it ends with S or when it ends with SS or when it ends with X or it ends with Z or it ends with or O. What do you do? We add ES at the end of such noun to make it a plural. Remember I told you that plural means more than one thing, more than, more than one place, or more than one animal. Singular is one, single, single, just one thing, one person, one animal, one place, one thing. So if you want to change some nouns to plural, if you want to change it to more than one thing, more than one person, more than, more than one animal, and such noun ends with all of this that is underlined. You just have to add your E-S. If it, if it ends with, with ch, sh, s, s, x, z, or zero i said not zero letter o or sound o o so if it ends with ch, ch, s, 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 x, z, or o or o you have to add e s so let's look at examples so you have singular, you have plural. Now you have church. Church is a noun, okay? A noun that names a place. Now look at the end of this noun, church. It ends with what? C-H. And we say that when a, a noun ends with C-H, what do you add? You add E-S. C-H or ch. You add ES. So you rewrite it. You rewrite your church like this. You write this. H U R 
C-H. This is church. Then because it ends with C-H, just add your E-S and it turns to churches. Churches. So you can say one church, two churches, two, more than one church. E-S would turn it to churches. Now let's look at the second example. We have dish. Dish ends with sh, s, h. It ends with s, h, which is sh. And we said if it now ends with s, h, you add what? E, s. E, s. Now, if you add e, s to dish, it will turn to, let's say, dish. This is dish. Then you add e, s. It will turn to what? Dishes. 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 So let's look at this. Tomato. We have tomato ends with what? O. Letter O or sound O. So what do we say about now that ends with O? We, say, we said we are going to add ES. So that means we are going to add ES to our tomato. And let's see what it's going to give us. We have tomato, right? Or tomato. Then put your ES. Then you have your tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Next example, we have gas. And this ends with S. So the rule says if it ends with S, add ES. Good job. So that means you have to write your gas. Gas. Then remember to add your ES because it ends with S. ES. And it turns to gases. Gases. So you can say one gas three gases okay so let's look at this dress dress ends with s s double s so if you want to change this dress which is singular to plural you have to add what let's look at it okay once it now ends with with uh s s you add e s so that means we are going to add e s when you write your dress just write the, the singular, then put your ES. So that will give you dresses. So you can have one dress and 10 dresses. 10 dresses. So let's look at this fox. Fox end with X. So let's see. Aru says, and now that ends with X, you add ES. So that means when you see fox, you write the fox, then you put your ES. And it turns to foxes. Foxes. So you can have one fox, six foxes. So let's look at this. You have balls. And balls ends with what? It ends with z. It ends with z. It ends with z. Okay? This is it. It ends with z. So that tells us that we're going to write our balls. Write your boss, B U Z Z. Then when it ends with Z, you add what? Add E S. Okay, so let's add E S. Then it turns to buzzes, buzzes, buzzes. Good job. So singular, like I said, is one, and plural is two, more than one, two or more. Okay? And you have to note that there are some nouns that when they end when they end with C H S H S S S X Z or O, you have to add E S. Okay, so let's see if it, if the, if you see another hand with C H with S H. Okay. With what? With S, with S, S, with X, with Z, and with what? O, you add E, S. So let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, okay, we have, we are omitting one. What are we omitting? We are omitting... Is it Z, S, S, okay. X, we have X already. Okay, we have everything. Seven. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So when it now ends with all of this seven, okay, you add E S. When it ends with ch, ch, s, 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 x, z, or o, you add E S to make them plural. Thank you and have a great day.